They say that everything old is new again. Whoever they are. And they couldn't be more correct. From flapper fashion to burlesque shows and speakeasy themed parties, the 20s are making a roaring comeback. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what Hashtag it. Every Thursday, rolling out of bed with Mikey J, but especially Gretchen. Hi, I'm June Margaret. And I'm Buck McGee. And this is your weekly news and entertainment update. YouTuber Babyface Bugsy hits the world's radar a few weeks ago, and his latest video has gone viral in just a few days with over 2 million views. Please have all of your ingredients on hand. Hashtag prohibition. Right. <laughs> Another sex capade is all across front pages everywhere as J. Edgar Hoover's snap to a local lady of the evening was sold to TMZ for an undisclosed amount. We tried to get his side of the story, but as you can see. The leaked photos. Get that camera out of my face. The number one downloaded song this week is the Club Royal Orchestra's Bride and Dirty. Let's take a listen. <laughs> People around the world are watching their neighbors, and more importantly, their neighbor's milkman, really close after a watchful and curious resident posted a Facebook update that was spread around the world. What do you think, Buck? I think he might just be calcium deficient. In other news, juice joints around the country experienced a rash of unwanted visitors as an anonymous blog posted the Tumblr and claimed to be able to gain you entry with their clever password hacks. When will they ever learn? I don't know, Buck. See you next week. Stay sassy, America. We're drinking, my friend, to a brief episode. One more for the road. Oh, those trade gin. Woo! <laughs> the name of the game is bathtub gin or toilet wine, where you two have to decide if something is an actual cocktail that I found on the internet or something that I just made up out of random household items. I promise not to poison you. So if you start throwing up, I'll clean it up. I'll help you. <laughs> Can we get a disclaimer that we're not going to be poisoned? No. And they're, every single one of them do contain alcohol. So there's that. I, actually, he chose to sit down here, so I don't know. <laughs> I promise. Now Mike, I have no idea. I promise, Mikey, they are all the same. The I, first drink is called the mac and cheese. This one, right? Mac and Sample. cheese. It has little mac and cheeses on it, in case you can't tell. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not terrible. That is not a real drink that you found on the internet. I'm going to say that you made this up. Actually, the mac and cheese drink, which contains milk, powdered cheese mix, rum and Velveeta, and macaroni and cheese, is a drink on the internet. <laughs> well, yeah, everything's on the internet. Anything with mac and cheese is brilliant, don't you know that? It keeps attacking me. It keeps I'm... falling in my life. This macaroni doesn't even want to be in this drink. It keeps leaving. <laughs> no. The funny thing is, is you both took a second sip of it. No, we did. <laughs> we have to. And we ate the garnish. This like, is terrible. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, try the second one. This right. is called the Smoker's Cough. It looks smoky. The name sounds flimmy, so... Maybe it'll clear your sinuses out. Let's try it. Let's hope. Whoa. It's not terrible. No. I it's feel like I'm drinking a Stromboli. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. Bathtub gin or toilet wine? Is bathtub gin the good one? Mm -hmm. That's I'm gonna the go real with that one. one. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, go with bathtub gin. Yeah, it's bathtub gin. And you are correct. The smoker's cough yeah. made of Jägermeister and mayonnaise is a real drink. And while smoking is bad for you, I would say so is this. It has mayonnaise in it? Mayonnaise. It's uh. not terrible. <laughs> As soon as I said mayonnaise, Kevin was like, this is, I thought this was good. Put this That's right wrong. back down. Never mind. <laughs> this drink is for white people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, third drink. All right. It looks like toothpaste. It looks like a shot of toothpaste. It's called the devil's panties. I can imagine why. 
Oh. All right, let's try it out. <laughs> let's try it out. Cheers, sir. <laughs> and they both <coughs> took the whole shot. They both shot it. I love you guys. <coughs> that's definitely toilet wine. Yeah, that's toilet wine. God, my <laughs> eyes are watering. Oh. <laughs> It's not even that it was bad, it's just like the it's weird that, that goes was in so my mouth. strong it made my contact lens come out. <laughs> <laughs> it knocked the contact lens right out of the Oh yeah. <laughs> Devil's panties is made of hot sauce, lemon juice, blue curacao, and whipped cream. And it was toilet wine. I totally made that up. Yeah. But I thought that if I put something blue, you'd think it was legit. No. no. So you're saying that whipped cream and hot sauce isn't good together? Shot four, and I can already feel the drunkenness coming off in waves. The prairie chicken. There are chunks floating in it. There are chunks of chicken. Oh, that's what they are. Or maybe, or I don't know. It could be yolk. They look like bacon bits. Bacon bits bacon. and um, egg yolk. Cheers. Y'all are so brave. <laughs> oh, oh, oh that was something you made up. It's so <laughs> salty. It's like ocean water. It's like an ocean water shot with bacon bits in it. I don't, I don't even have anything to say. I'm just too busy laughing. I wish you were sitting right here. It's so salty. It's like there was a, uh, a whale in the sea, and then a pirate came in and dipped his beard in it, and then rang his beard out into a cup. That's what it tastes like. That's right. definitely toilet, toilet water. water. That is the terriblest. Salty sperm beard. Toilet water. <laughs> Prairie chicken made of gin, egg yolk, and salt and pepper is a real drink. But uh, I have two words for you: god awful. Yeah. It was, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Even terrible. the gin doesn't make it taste better. That was ter I don't have gin to drink to make it feel better. It's like I got nothing to wash that nasty down. Maybe this is a good one. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get. But it is bathtub gin. This one looks uh, like it might not kill us. Let's the ranch try. hand. The ranch hand. Cheers. I hope it's better than the last one. Home, home on the range. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <coughs> These can't be real drinks, no. These are all terrible. Where's so your gin? Can some. I have a sip of your gin? <laughs> what bar are you going to oh. that serves this? Stop going there. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> so your guess is toilet wine or? I'm gonna say toilet wine. That's like I'm a gonna... chicken that's been left on the table too long. Oh, that has a bad aftertaste. I'm going with bathtub gin. Yeah, bathtub gin. That's probably a real thing. Like it was probably you know, made in a legitimate bathtub <laughs> that somebody bathed in ranch dressing. And they were like, for nostalgia reasons, let's keep this on our menu. The ranch hand is made from ranch and vodka with a cute little tomato lemon garnish, and I totally made that up. But you know what? If you like ranch dressing, wouldn't you want to drink it? You I don't. Wanna it's bad? I want to taste it. Which one was it? It was the last one. You tried. This, oh, this I got a good bit you left. You drank all of your. He complained and he drank the whole. Why it's so I'm bad. a trooper. I'm a trooper. I'm gonna do this he's, for the show. Yeah, he's way better than me. He's like, <laughs> but I do this every week, so that's not fair. <laughs> Wait for the aftertaste. <laughs> Boom! There it is. And it's gonna be there for like the next ten minutes. <laughs> I was like, that's not bad, and then it hit the back. <laughs> the back of my throat. Whew, that's hard. <laughs> Intern Peyton says it's a tie, and the winner Guess would have gotten this bottle of scope and a two-minute trip to the bathroom because I know your mouth is rejecting your tongue. So I'm going to tie break it and say you win. Yay, I love it. I'm going to make good use of this in the next five minutes. <laughs> Let's see you in a minute. Will you share it with me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tiebreaker! That's much better. Yeah, Gretchen. Bathtub <laughs> gin or toilet wine, huh? The, the mac and cheese, man. I, I should have put the Velveeta in there. But I thought it would be too cheesy if I did that. It would have been too chunky. But it was cheesy. Yeah. Pun city. <laughs> so this week, I'm tripping on the hashtag BB gun challenge. Basically, People ask people questions, and if they get them wrong, they shoot them with BB guns. Ooh, we should do that. That sounds like something we would do on our show, but unfortunately, we're more responsible than that. Darn it. Yeah. I wanted to get shot with a BB gun. I mean, 
I mean, if you guys want to get shot with BB guns, no, we can do that. I'll be shooting you. We should just both shoot at Kevin. <laughs> we should let... No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Gretchen, what are you tripping on this week? The YouTuber's crash course. It's like, you know, if Schoolhouse Rock was a little bit more grown up, so they teach literature, history, and science all in one real quick crash course. Great for teenagers or adults. Though. Wait, you're saying that I can get my GED on YouTube? I don't know if it's official. I'm done. It's done. I'm getting my GED. Finally getting my grade 10. <laughs> Hit it, Drew. <laughs> I'm tripping on the Evansville Civic Theater and the production of The Great Gatsby. Every production I've seen there has been excellent and The Great Gatsby blew me away. And if you missed it, just go to the Evansville Civic Theater on Facebook and find out what they're up to. Don't they have a website? Yes, they do. EvansvilleCivicTheater.org. You can also order tickets there. Do you know what's coming up after Gatsby? Uh, it's a show called Dearly, Dearly Departed. Departed. Yep, Dearly yes, Departed. Yes, that looks hilarious. It is freaking hilarious. So this week, hashtag change a word and ruin a quote is trending on Twitter. So life is like a box of tampons. I see bread people. To this infinity was. and Beyonce! Keep your friends close and your bacon closer. We are the twerking dead. <laughs> Float like a butterfly, sting like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> You miss 100% of the tequila shots you don't take. This is true. It's true. true. You're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> You're a blizzard, Harry. Ooh. I don't know who you are, but I will find you, and I will kiss you. Where you at? You can find me at Gretchen Irons on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and at... Featuring Mikey J, or you can find me at The Pineapple Project at 1321 South Barker. Or the both of us at hashtag the best day ever EVB. You can comment below and join the conversation or tag us in your status. We'll look at it. Probably. For sure. We like you. And you can find me, Kevin Roach, on Facebook. I'm going to get on Twitter and Instagram soon. I promise. I'm going to be at the Evansville Civic Theater with The Great Gatsby. And coming up at the Alhambra Film Festival, you can see me, Grown Men on Tricycles, and a scary movie called Three Tears on Bloodstained Flesh. Get ready to play the strip game. Charades, stars of the 1920s. You're first. Mikey J's been looking mad swole. Handsome, hands down, Gretchen hella bad though. Both got swag and a bag full of anecdotes. No lack of game, hashtag Hasbro. Flip the script till it sits diagonal. Charlie Chaplin. Got it. All right, it's my turn. I'm May West! Because of the boobs. <laughs> Mine's easy. Plus up. Plus up. Ready? Joan Crawford. Mommy Dearest. Oh, this is Joan Crawford. Okay. Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest. <laughs> yeah.